Okay, welcome back, 2013. Um, balance sheet, the incomplete records question, balance sheet, and now we've just done the goodwill and we're going to look at the tangible fixed assets. So we'll do this all in one go here. First of all, at the start of the year, the tangible fixed assets were premises. That was it, premises. And the value of the premises was 174,000. So that won't be your final value. So I'm just gonna put that in brackets. In this question also, there is no depreciation, so we're not going to have to worry about that uh, in this particular version of this question. It could always come up in a different version. Uh, so if we look then down at um, what uh, Kelly paid out during the year, so there's no cash payment anyway there for any fixed assets. But in here we see straight away there's equipment 30,000. And let's see, is there anything else? There's vehicle 32. So that's going to mean you have an equipment some pieces or a piece of equipment valued at 30,000. I think we can put that straight in here to the middle column because there's nothing that'll need to be done to it. And we said there was a vehicle. Again, there won't be anything to be done to it in this particular question. 32,000 and no cost depreciation net book value straight into the net book value there. The premises, however, the reason we have something to do with that is because it says further down here that Kelly borrowed money, part of which was used to purchase an adjoining warehouse, which is an extra building or premise, premises, uh, which cost 60,000. So the, there was another building bought for 60,000. So the total value of the premises now is 234,000. And if we top the three of them up there, we get a figure of 296,000. And if we add that onto our goodwill of 20,670, we get 316,000. 670. Now, in other questions, there's often um, some financial fixed assets, some investments, but in this particular question, there isn't this year. And if there were, they would go in here. 